Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you how I implement the reading activities in my classes. I'm going to start with some definitions like of reading. I'm going to start with UK essays. It says that reading is a mental process. Our reading is when someone looks into a written text and starts to absorb information from the written linguistic message. According to Longman, Dictionary of Applied Linguistic, uh, reading is said as perceiving a written text in order to understand it, its contents. It can be done silently, the understanding that the soul is called reading comprehension. According to Cambridge, uh, Cambridge Dictionary, uh, reading is an occasion when something written, especially a word of literature, is spoken to an audience. So these two definitions refers to the same as that reading is when people interact with written information. Um, reading plays an important role in EFL teaching because the students are exposed to the written language and if we use it effectively, it will increase the students' vocabulary and spelling. That is an essential aspect in speaking. Russia, 1988. Other authors uh, say that reading have, has many advantages. Now, one of them is that reading uh, activates knowledge. You know that when we are reading, students uh, are refreshing um, in stances, um, grammar structures, some aspects of the language like uh, prepositions, the um, use of articles, and others. Another important characteristic of reading, according to other authorities, is that um, reading builds vocabulary. Do you know that one of the best ways to present vocabulary to our city is through reading? Uh, when they find unknown words, they can find the meaning in context. So we as a teacher can guide them um, to clarify the gaps relating to, to the meaning of words. Another feature of reading is that it evokes uh, memories and experience of other times. And the last and the most important and for many aspects is that reading uh, develops creativity. I have taken this information from the Ecuadorian curriculum. So the Ecuadorian curriculum is divided into three into five threads of sections. One of these five sections is reading. So the main objective of this uh, curricular thread is to have our students to, to interact uh, with a written text in order to do a variety of tasks such as extract information, learn about the world around them, and communicate. So in this part I want to emphasize uh, that um, when we develop reading activities, so there are many many activities like questioning where students can ask and answer questions so this allow, allow them to interact with, with each other so in this case they are using the language in classroom and also we are creating opportunities for them to practice their language in this part um, there is something important when we are developing the reading activities is that these reading activities have to be based on authentic material because uh, these aspects generate opportunities for promoting the students' interaction in the classroom. By reason of this, it is extremely important to take into account many important aspects at the moment of selecting material because many aspects like society, culture, religion, background, likes and dislikes and particular purpose sometimes influence the reading test. So as you know the authentic material um, 
include problems uh, present in real life. So when a student uh, are exposed to the authentic material, uh, it provides students with real life experiences. It's important to select a topic also, uh, which is um, interesting for our students. So for example, if we select a topic related to technology, you know that our students are always looking for information about um, new technological advances. So if we select topics like that, so our students uh, are gonna be engaged in reading. They're gonna embrace reading as a tool uh, for increase their knowledge in any aspect of their life. I want to show you uh, this chart um, which contain many important uh, activities that we can do with reading because reading is not just answer to or false or um, find the main idea of the text or um, make comprehension reading activities. So with reading, we can make connections, so establish the connection with the topic with one aspect of your life. We can ask and answer questions, or we can determine the importance of the reading in your life. For example, we can make predictions, we can summarize the information, we can do a lot of activities uh, to improve our, uh, to improve our students' performance, or oh, and also to create opportunities for our students to interact or oh, which with each other. Based on what it is mentioned before, so I can tell you that if we implement reading activities during the process of teaching and learning properly. As students will embrace reading as a tool to improve language learning. Suggestions for implementing reading activities in class. This is what I do when I am doing my reading activities. First, before the reading task, teachers are going to do a person a pre-reading activity. So students are going to do a picture description. So this picture is going to be related with the topic of the reading activity. So in this case, I, I select this reading for eight, um, eight graders. So I, I, um, we are talking about the, the Halloween in this case. So they are going to describe the picture. They're going. So for example, I can ask them so. Um, which holiday does this picture represent, or, or do you believe in superstition? So you can, so you can do uh, the, this breathing activity um, um, using um, the resource that you you want to supply with them. Second, after the picture description, we are going to present the most relevant words from the reading. Uh, students are going to deduce the meaning. If not, teachers are going to help them um, uh, clarifying the, um, the meaning of the unknown words. Uh, we can use pictures. We can use uh, comprehensible input. So, uh, easy words like synonyms. So we can use the words in in sentences. There are many strategies for uh, clarifying the meaning of words in. Uh, in uh, reading. In this case, I present. In this case, I present this vocabulary. I also have have these pictures for them, so I can say, for example, um, which word does this picture represent? I can tell the student, so or I can ask them which of them um, wants to participate. So as teacher, as the teachers, uh, we have to to find the best strategy for them according also the level of the level of English of our students. Let's go to the third. Uh, once the student 
when students have clarified doubts regarding the meaning of unknown words. Teachers are going to project their reading on the whiteboard. So in our in our institution, we have uh, projectors. So in my case, I use projectors um, to, to put the reading on the whiteboard. But I also give them um, worksheets that contains the, the reading, the text. So I have to facilitate the, the material to the students for working in class. So at the beginning, uh, we're going to read individually. So um, every single student are go is going to read the, the text. Uh, then the, they are going to work in verse asking and answering, answering questions about the reading. To their partners. So in this, in this, in this case, so we have to monitor. We have to check if they are working in pairs. So we are not uh, say we are not uh, um, allow. We are we don't have to allow them to to work. Uh, we have also we have always to 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 check understanding to check if the if they are structuring questions in a in a proper way so i i also want uh, want to mention that before uh, developing the reading activities um so i have i have taught them um, how to structure questions wh questions uh, properly fourth so it would be ideal to that our students expose the or to present or somewhere in front of their partner but because of the lack of time in classes so teachers are going to ask students to send a video with a summary of what they have assimilated in the reading so learners are going to express using properly the grammar structured learning class and also new words uh, you know that almost all the students have a cell phone so we can create a WhatsApp group where students can send the video. And then teachers can check the video in, in at home or when they are free. 